What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Core 25 and Plus 26 backpacks from King Kong Apparel. All right guys, so these are two of the newest backpacks from King Kong Apparel. The Plus 26 actually just came out, but this is a redesign or an updated design of the Backpack 2. And then the Core came out sometime earlier last year uh, there was a duffel there was a tote and then there was also the backpack i've been sitting on doing the review just for whatever reason um, mainly to be honest with you just because i didn't really use this backpack all that much over the course of last year it actually became my like bug out side bag the thing that i would take to uh, gyms when i would drop in uh, so it does have a fair amount of equipment inside of it but it's not my main backpack and it's never really been my main backpack. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't or it's a bad backpack, it's just it doesn't really fit my needs the greatest. Um, so, as the name would state, it is a 25 liter backpack. It only has one opening for the main compartment and that is at the top. Uh, so, you're gonna load everything through the top and this backpack can actually hold a fair amount of stuff. I have a bunch of junk in there, obviously. Um, I'm just a gear whore, and that's one of the main reasons why I don't use this backpack as much, um, just because I'm throwing a lot of equipment inside of the bag, and I'm always having to dig into the bag to get the stuff out. Since there's only the top opening to get in there, your stuff becomes a mess inside of the bag, um, well, my stuff does, and I'm having to dig and dig and dig to find things, and it just makes it a little bit inconvenient to navigate the bag. Otherwise, like I said, holds a ton of stuff. There is a laptop compartment at the back, uh, and that's secured with a little buckle. The inner lining here is a ripstop material. There is an inner pocket inside of here. So that's another thing I don't like about this bag is that there's some flat storage pockets inside, but they're at the very bottom. So you have to dig all the way into the bag in order to, to get stuff out of those. Um, so they're not the most practical spots. Um, there is a shoe compartment at the very bottom of this backpack that expands out into the main compartment. So uh, that does have a weather resistant lining. If you were to put a pair of shoes inside of this bag, which you can, it would take up a fair amount of space inside of the bag, so just keep that in mind. So on top of the main opening of the bag, there is a flat storage compartment, which you could put like your keys, your wallets. I put my like sunglasses in here. My sunglasses are missing, but I have the case for them. Uh, that's where I usually store that stuff. And then on the front of the bag, there's a flat zippered pocket. And then there's another compartment behind that, which is a little bit bigger. Uh, you can store some flat goods in there, some cards, and then there's a Trico pocket inside of there. And then the very front of the bag, you have a little hook and loop area so that you can put a patch. And it has the King Kong logo under it. On the sides of the backpack, there are some bottle pockets, which have some elastic, which is a nice thing, but um, that's not the most secure way to hold a bottle in. So if you flip your bag around and whatnot, that bottle's gonna come flying out. So the one thing that we haven't talked about, which is the biggest differentiator between this backpack and pretty much all of the other backpacks in King Kong Apparel's lineups, is the fact that this has a dedicated belt loop. So it's basically this cavity at the back part of the backpack and then you just loop your belt through and around and then you secure it and then it makes it so that the belt or if you're carrying a belt it isn't going to take up any room inside of the bag which is a very very nice touch. The duffel also has this but no other product in King Kong apparel's lineups has something like this. Uh, I wish they would put it on more stuff but then I guess there would be less reason to buy the Core 25 backpack. So I really like that about it. And then under, here let me take the belt off. Uh, make sure if you have a belt uh, with Velcro that the Velcro does not show out because then it will catch on things and it will tear things up pretty badly. So on the front of the bag there are these loops right here and these are attached with Velcro. You can actually loop your belt through this as well, but I'm too lazy to do that. Uh, and then you can also like 
hook carabiners up to this and just whatever else you want to hang on to it. At the very back of the backpack, you have your nice padded straps that are also ventilated. There's an adjustable sternum strap and then there's some ventilation at the back of the backpack. And obviously this is the tan color. So like pretty much anything from King Kong Apparel, the build quality of this backpack is excellent. It uses YKK zippers. The pulls are very smooth. Uh, the outer shell on this is a 600D nylon. So that's a little bit lesser than the typical 1000D, but it doesn't feel any cheaper. It actually, to me, feels pretty much the same. And it doesn't feel like this bag is cheaper in any way uh, in terms of build quality compared to all of the other backpacks. So if you're on the more minimalist side, you didn't mind that you only had one way into your backpack and you wanted that shoe compartment that went inside of your backpack, then I think the Core 25 is a very good pick. It's $130. So even though this is not the backpack that I would personally pick, I still think it is a very good pick if you don't have that much to carry around. Okay, so next up is the Plus 26 backpack. And this has been my everyday carry backpack for like the last three weeks or so. So this has like my clothes, just like random electronics, uh, pretty much everything that I, I would need on a daily basis. Um, this backpack is awesome. This is a revamped version of the Backpack 2, which was my everyday carry backpack for a very, very long time. So the design, while it's not so different, uh, is still very, very useful, at least in my eyes. So uh, the nice thing about the Plus 26, is that it does have a shoe compartment that is separate from the rest of your bag. Uh, so you're not taking up space inside of the bag when you're putting your shoes into this, but your shoes are going to be exposed. This front pocket right here is gonna be your shoe compartment and then it's got this magnetic buckle onto it. Uh, and then from there, right now I don't have a pair of shoes in here. And this was a complaint that I had with the original backpack too, is I wish that the inner part on this side was lined. So when you put your shoes in, uh, it doesn't get like super dirty or anything, but it's just the normal nylon shell of the backpack, which is that 1000D nylon. And then on the sides of the shoe compartment, you can just zip them up. If you're not using it as a shoe compartment and then becomes some kind of flat storage. Uh, I like these little accents that they added to the sides. It makes it so the pockets are a little bit more rigid and I actually like that and it gives it a nice clean looking touch to the backpack. Uh, the side pockets are very useful. I thought the original side pockets were a little bit more useful because they had the zipper right through the middle and you could really put anything in those. These have two elastic straps on the sides and they still work pretty well. They're very, very deep. So they're still very useful pockets. I just prefer the original zipper design of the original one. Um, the top right here has a nice little valuables compartment and that's lined with that ripstop material. So I've got some sunglasses, charger, uh, got some money in here. I try not to put too many valuable things into that pocket because in the inside of the backpack on this front opening, there's another storage compartment where I'd put my um, more valuable stuff. I should probably put that money in that compartment, but that's a nice secure one. And then inside of that, well, let's actually just open this backpack up. So uh, the reason why I really like this backpack is because it completely opens up like clamshell style. And then from there, you have full access to everything inside of your backpack, which makes it much easier to navigate than the Core 25. Uh, at the back part, there is a dedicated laptop sleeve, which is padded and lined. And there's a little buckle on top so your laptop won't come flying out. And then inside of this, this is kind of like my, uh, my bug out bag. So I have some clothes in here, a ton of clothes actually. And then let's see if I can do this without dropping all my clothes. Inside of this front compartment is some Trico lined pockets. I've got some random valuables. While it's impossible to get to these pockets, or it's not impossible, it's just, it's just a pain uh, to get to these pockets from this front opening or the top opening, when you fold it open, it's not so bad to get them. It's just the way that I'm holding this backpack, it makes it hard to get to them. So I'm holding a fair amount of clothes in here. 
you could definitely use this as like a weekend backpack, weekend bag. It's 26 liters in capacity, but it feels a lot bigger than uh, a normal like 26 liter backpack because of just the way that it opens up and everything. Uh, the back of the backpack has nice solid shoulder straps that are also ventilated like the Core 25. And then you have a little bit more of that like rubber lining, which gives it more of like a sturdy feel. And then you got some ventilation points at the very back of the backpack. Uh, once again, you have that sternum strap. This one retails for $170. So it's pretty good amount more than the Core 25. But personally, I think that's just more useful as far as like the design goes. For me personally, uh, something like this just works a lot better. For someone who's holding a lot of stuff and digging into the depths of their backpack, uh, that clamshell opening just makes it a lot easier to manage. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the review of the Core 25 and the Plus 26. If you're uh, more of a minimalist, then I'd say the Core 25 is going to be fine for you. If you really like that belt compartment, then of course you're gonna have to go with the Core 25. It's still a very good backpack. It's just not my pick. And if you are a gear horror like myself or you just wanted easier access to your belongings, uh, then I would go with the Plus 26 and this one is going to be my pick. Either way, you can't go wrong with any of the backpacks from King Kong Apparel. They make some of the best bags in the game. So I definitely recommend you check out pretty much anything from them. If you guys have any questions about the Core 25 or the Plus 26, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.